Step by step, members of the NAACP and several county leaders spent the evening walking through this community in Pikesville to hear their concerns and talk about possible solutions. There are a lot of drivers going through the red lights mm -hmm. and it's scary. It's very scary. The speeding and, and the and the, the drugs, uh, the drugs, a lot of, a lot of, uh, you, you see it. I mean, I've, I've been around a while, so I, I see what's going on. Calvin Adler lives and works in the area. He says traffic and drugs are two issues that he's noticed and is hoping more can be done to address it. I'm concerned and, and I'm very concerned about that, you know, of what can, what people can do because people are very brazen today. Some of the primary concerns have uh, centered around uh, open air drug dealing, um, some issues with uh, some of the uh, hotel motels and uh, some of the uh, concerns with uh, disorderly behavior in the community and um, some some street robberies and robberies of businesses. Baltimore County Police Chief Robert McCullough says that these kinds of crimes have spiked from time to time and they've been dedicating resources to deal with it. I've, I've have, have had conversations with my, uh, my criminal investigations bureau commander and our vice narcotics commanders specifically about this area and specifically uh, about some of the concern. County Executive Johnny Olszewski says that it takes everyone to find solutions. We believe in sort of having everyone at the table to find solutions and we'll continue to do so today and in the weeks ahead. The NAACP says that it plans to have another meeting with county and community leaders about these issues and solutions moving forward. In Baltimore County, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.